Hi guys, so um, you would have been waiting for this video as much as I have been waiting and my report has finally come after 20 weeks of waiting. Literally when this was in my hands yesterday I was so relieved. Um, and now that it's here, um, I will go through it, um, explain what's on each page, not everything but you know just the details like some of the summaries of what it says um, because when you go on YouTube there's not many videos like this um, that shows what an actual report looks like after an autism assessment so I thought that would be a good thing to do. Um, I'm gonna move the camera and hold it so that I can um, explain some of the words to you better. When you open the report it's got, let's see, it's got a diagnosis section. Formal diagnosis of autism may only be given when there is evidence of qualitative impairment in social interaction and social communication and restricted repetitive and or stereotypic behaviours present from at least the age of three and currently remain apparent. And then it's got um, that the assessments done would be consistent with a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder and social anxiety. So I can confirm that I am autistic now, which is such a relief. Um, then it's got a general information page that states what autism is, why diagnosis is important about the centre where I had my assessment. Unfortunately, the AGRC is closing down. And this is the report content. So it's got a triage assessment, a diagnostic assessment. So they're all the um, questionnaires that was that I did. A mood state one, so anxiety and depression scale, a sensory profile, and then a neuropsychological assessment, which were all the tests I talked about in my other video. And then a summary and recommendations. So I'm just going to go to the summary. So the summary section of this um, section says overall whilst the typical development trajectory was reported you presented as a passive baby and displayed limited functional toy play along with imagination and symbolic play being absent thereby evidence in social interactive abnormal animal I can't say it, <laughs> before the age of three, through self and paternal reports as well as information obtained during diagnostic observation, um, assessment, qualitative impairments in communication, social interaction, restrictive, repetitive and stereotypic behaviours are further evidence. Your qualitative impairments in communication um, show restricted use of social usage of words, repercussy in conversation, interchange and a lack of emotional response to the verbal and non-verbal overtures of others in addition an adequate appreciation of social emotional cues lack of social emotional repercussy and poor response to people's emotions with restricted modulation of behavior according to social context of qualitative impairment in social interaction um so it's saying that i'm impaired in day-to-day -day social functioning um and this has served and induced social anxiety um, so basically, the summaries are obviously um, just summing up what he's found in the report. Like, that section was about my developmental history and what information my mum had given to him about my birth and stuff, which I don't really want to read on YouTube, but that was a summary of that section. And then um, he's wrote down the results of the, um, like, questionnaires that he gave me, like the E... A A A Q and E Q. So um, the arrows are where the normal like average is, and my results are here. So um, for the A Q, I scored 47, and then a score of 32 or more is indicative of autism, um, and I was there. And then on the empathy quotient, um, I scored 9 and a score of 30 or less is indicated of autism spectrum um, and then this is a system in quote here to see how the way your brain works and predicts like world like the world and it says a high score 
is indicative of a more systemizing style of thinking. I scored 95, um, which is apparently a high school. Um, so he's just summed what the results were in there. He's explained like the different um, areas of social interaction, communication, repetitive behaviours, impairments in imagination, issues across the lifespan, impairments in functioning, language delay, my mood state, that was based on the depression and anxiety scale, and I've already got a diagnosis of severe depression um, and anxiety anyway, but um, that's just a summary of that. And then this is a sensory profile. So this is the sensory profile graph. Um, there's no numbers on the side, so I'm not sure what numbers these are, but they look quite high, I'm assuming. He said the only um, sense that I didn't have a problem with was a smell. Um, so the rest of them I'm quite sensitive to, apart from smell. And then he's just summarised what problems I may have with each sense, like vision, like hearing, taste, um, proprioception, which is like awareness of your body, um, and then like balance problems. Just readjust the camera. Um, then we had a neuropsychological assessment which was, if you watch my what happened at my autism assessment video, um, it was all the little tests that I had to do. So we had like a literacy test where I had a written information. I was average on that, which is really good. Um, a two-dimensional visual organisation. So I was asked to copy a geometrical figure accurately as possible. And he said, the reason I scored below average is because I was focusing so much on the little details of it rather than the bigger picture. Um, then we had visual processing, like rec recording numbers and target symbol search, which I was average for. Um, a work in memory, which I was average for, which I was quite surprised because um, I do forget daily things quite easy. But then when it comes to like songs and stuff, I do remember them after listening to them once. And then executive functioning was a bit all over the place. Um, word generation was below average. Sentence, sentence completion was above average. Um, switching to given rules was average, attainment and switching was average and above average, um, single stimuli switching was below and multiple switching was below. Um, so that basically means that my executive functioning um, of like problem solving, planning, organisation, mental, flexibility, attention and stuff is sometimes, some of it's high, some of it's not. And then more executive functions, so we had strategy was average, planning ability was average, um, temporal judgment was average. We had a social reasoning, which was below average on all of them. Um, so recognising mental states was the one with the um, eye, like the book of eyes, and I had to try and identify what they were feeling. Recognising emotions and social sensitivity was watching the videos of people um, meaning one thing but saying the other and stuff like that. Um, I did struggle with those tests. And then it's just got a summary, so it lists my areas of strength, my skills that are comparable to other people my age, and then my areas of weakness. Then the report summary is there. Um, it's basically just confirming like some impairments in social communication, restricted behaviours, social and non-verbal cues, like feelings towards others. Um, and then we've got, so they've got things that I'm struggling with, like difficulties, and then they've got a solution to how I can get over that, which I thought was really helpful. Um, so it's telling me to work on my routines, it may help you to structure and manage your day, explaining to others may help them to understand why you have routines. Um, they've got like some more, so like problem solving in short tasks clearly defined, sustaining and ending conversations, um, it may be helpful to, talk, to think of a range of topics before you meet the person. Um, 
There's ones about social exchanges. Um, like you can ask questions. Sorry, I didn't follow that. Can you repeat it? Um, you know, asking people if they're okay. Um, it's got about sensory overload, so like timing your visits to certain places. Helpful to reassure yourself. Um, learning relaxation strategies, wearing tinted glasses for hypersensitivity to light and headphones for hypersensitivity to sound. Then it's got some more, so like expectations at work, um, it, which is really helpful when I go into a future career like next year. Um, it's saying what to tell your employers and stuff and how they can help you. Um, language at work, like things need to be defined and all people should be saying the same thing. Um, it's got social interactions, like telling other people about your diagnosis, you can get support and mentor who can understand autism, um, like structure at work, and then like working environments, um, like well organised, avoid unnecessary sensory inputs, um, social overload, so like having breaks out and stuff. Um, Working full time can be difficult, so employers need to be aware that um, it's very different to being lazy. And then there's information for employees. Um, it actually says that um, there's training for companies via the National Autistic Society to learn more about autism. Um, it's got understanding autism. Um, all people are different, so it says it might be it might be useful to look at some books. Um, it's also got explaining autism to others, applying for an autism alert card, um, letting people know um, because autism is classed as a disability, it entitles you to having reasonable adjustments made in the Equality Act 2010. Um, and that's basically it, and then that's the information from my doctor. Um, he did list some apps in the report so I'll go back through it again and if I can find out what these apps are called I'll list them in the description and um, they're to help you with um, social skills and learning how to communicate effectively so that would be quite useful I know this video is long but um, I feel like it's very useful for people to have an idea of what the report looks like especially if you're going through it because when I was going through it I was like oh my god what is it going to be like what's the outcome of it afterwards and I feel like that's something everyone will go through because autistic people just need to know <laughs> what's going to happen but I'm very glad that it's here I can now start working on making sure the right things are in place um, and obviously look out for more videos in the future thanks guys bye